I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang, BriceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Got my dog with me. Showtime, man. Peter, nobody that knows body. Bye. Right, right. And I go by the name by the fly. Tell your mama I said hi. And, um, you know, we're here to talk about none other than Ultimate Madness 2. Alt Madness 2. For week, week one, had some surprises, had some shocks, had some. Up and down moments, yeah. you know. Um, Emerson yeah. Kennedy versus Louise just dropped. Mm -hmm. um, Emerson Kennedy had a pretty good performance in that battle, and there was a lot of other battles that happened. You know, smoke that boy. He smoked that boy. Uh, it was a, it was a bunch of other battles that happened. Franchise versus Tink the Demon. Mm -hmm. uh, none, none upsets Loso. Yeah. I want that to drop next. I don't. I mean, they're gonna drop them in order, probably. Yeah. So no, no, it'll probably, be, it'll probably be Danny and Reaper. Danny and Reaper. Uh, I think Reaper will probably get a little bit more credit when the battle drops because his second and third was pretty clever. Mm. Uh, it was just the first where he like fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Choked a little bit in the in the at the end of his first. But uh, the crazy shit. What I noticed is Method Man gave Reaper the first round, even though he choked. And no, he gave. No, he did. He did, and he gave. Him the second, he gave Mike P the second round versus Ryder. Yo, Meth, to cow, to cow. Yeah, you gotta get this shit together. If you gonna be up here doing this shit, you gotta get I this mean, shit right. You look I a little mean, crazy. He, he, he was right, but like I still, I think he, I think he's fine. I think he's fine. I think he's fine, I think but he's fine. I mean, how high? So how did I get kiss this and, guy? You know what I'm saying? We gotta so, take it from the tippy. <laughs> from the tippy. Oh, oh my people. people, sing it, daddy, sing it. Hey, hey. <laughs> we gotta take that shit from the top. But, uh, you get, but uh, so you had the Mike P versus Ryder, mm -hmm. um, and then you had uh, what's his name, um, Holmesy the God, mm -hmm. Smoke Saga. Oof. Clean um, as my gun. Clean as my. Oh, <laughs> we had him get him out of here. Uh, you had you had a lot of dope moments in the first joint, and yeah, Wavy, uh, Mr. Wavy versus Steams. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of feel like Steams was a little in above his head anyway. It was kind of like you know when you go to the court and you uh and URL pick like it's like a five on five and they need an extra man. They was like, oh, you want to run? Uh, I was about to leave, but fuck it, I'll play. Yeah. It was kind of like a throwaway because like he didn't really have a chance to win this anyway, and his performance showed it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, not to, and this is no knock on anybody, man. You know what I mean? Because y'all do shit that uh, a lot of us couldn't do anyway. Thanks. But Thanks. so you have the winners moving on. Yeah, Holmesy the God mm. versus Holmesy the God is battling against Emerson Kennedy. That's interesting. Saga, no, not Saga. Mike P versus Bill Collector. Mm. Danny Myers versus Tink the Demon. Mm -hmm. And then you got a. Uh, Mr. Nut, Wavy. Mr. Wavy versus Nun Nun. Mm -hmm. right? Let's do that clean. Okay. Holmesy the guy versus Emerson Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wavy versus Nun Nun. Mm -hmm. Danny Myers versus Tink the Demon. Mm -hmm. And Mike P versus Bill Collector. I got no notes. I got no quotes. This is all freestyle. Okay. Um, so, you, which one you want to come on? Which one you want to do for? Oh, yeah, we're still in the. Um, Battle Rap Media Tournament or whatever the case may be, but this is just fun. We're just doing predictions. We're just having fun. Salute to everybody that's in it. I got nothing disrespectful to say about uh, the competition. You know what I'm saying? It's Wing Truth. Salute to her and everything that she does as a uh, you know doing battle rap. She's been doing this for years. Uh, she picked a lot of good battles the first time as winners. And, you know, she just may pick more than me this time. And if she does, salute to you. But we're going to do what we do. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I, that's just where I'm at. You know, I know there's other people that's like, they're really going at each other. They're really talking down on each other. But I just, that, that's just not my energy. I, I don't have that kind of energy. It we is will is. talk shit if we are winning. I will say that. If we I'm win, not, it is what it is. I'm, win. I'm good, regardless of the fact. As long as I don't go one and eight, I'm straight. Hey. So um, check hey. this out. Um, Let's get it. Mike P versus Bill Collector. Mm -hmm. I'll just start there. Um, I'm gonna go and then like the decisions that were made. Me and him spoke about. You know what I'm saying? And um, I know this is y'all want me. I know this my name, but he's with this, so you know it is what it is. 
Um, it's a collective. It, it's Mike P versus Bill Collector. Mike P had a battle against Ryder where a lot of people, including myself, I felt like Ryder won that battle. Ryder had less than a 15% chance going into that battle to win. Uh, and Mike P had an 80% chance to win. I felt like Ryder clearly won the second round and he was not down 2-0. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He was he did not lose. To me, I don't feel like he lost the first and the third. Uh, a lot of the people in the comments felt like he won. You had Sue Surf saying he won. You had Geechee Gotti saying he won. You had top tier battle rappers like, yo, I really felt like he won. I don't know what the reasoning was when I watched it again on the replay. You know what I'm saying? They got apps they for, got that. for that. Uh, when I watched it again on the replay, <laughs> Mike had a little stumpy, slippy, blippy in his third, too. So I don't know what the reasoning was, but he's here. Um, very talented. Got really emotional about that Ryder second round. I mean, it is what it is. I've heard crazy angles before. Watch Pat Stay versus Marv 1. I can keep going with a lot of other battles where I've heard. Watch Arsenal versus Shadi Horror. I can keep going, too. You know what I'm saying? Arsenal with some versus T-Top. With some very... This man showed the video of his baby mom giving head on the fucking camera. And what did T-Top do but flip it on him? You know what I'm saying? Like he took the angle and flipped it on him. 40 Cal versus Ill Will. Come on. He put the fucking baby moms up there. Mad disrespect. There, there's a lot of battles that, that you missed. But so, no, you named them all. I named, yeah, I got, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, what I'm saying is this, right? Um, for that, Mike. For that, uh, Mike P is a talented artist. He's got bars. He's going to be able to do what he does. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, Bill Collector and his intangibles. He just rapped against somebody who raps hard for three rounds in a row. Young Cannon rapped his ass off. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But in tournaments like this, it's all about... See, this level right here is where you see you separate who's going to elevate. Who's yeah. going to really be able to do this at a high level. And Bill Collector is like a chameleon. He's able to like, he can use so many different styles of, like he can use current event bars, he can punch with you a little bit, he can switch in and out of flows, he can mock you, like he can do so many different things and with that being said, I feel like he's a dangerous threat and I've got Bill, Bill Collector winning this battle 2-1. That's agree. just me. 100%. I, I feel like, I mean, it might be can win this battle and if he does, I will not be surprised. Right. But to me, Bill Collector did more to win a battle against a young cannon who was dumping, you know what I'm saying? Then, because I don't feel like Bill Collector really got no assistance or nothing. I don't feel like, let's say, like, let's, I don't feel like young cannon got robbed when Bill Collector won. Right. I feel like Ryder got robbed. Like, yeah. literally. Yeah, that's like, what at the stoplight, jumped yeah. out, laid on the ground, took his coat, his shoes, his car, his cell phone, everything, and then even his socks, and they drove off on him. That's how I felt. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I feel as though that might be won that battle. That's yeah, just I, I mean, I, I'll watch it the second time. I I didn't get the second watch. Maybe when I get the second watch, I'm like, you know what? You was absolutely right. You know what right. I saw some things in that second round. I, maybe I was a little bit biased. But until that battle drops, I'm going to keep the same energy. And with that same energy, I totally agree with you still that Bill Collector um, is going to win this battle 2-1. Off the uh, strength that uh, I'm going off of who needs the battle more. I, I'm saying who needs to win more. To yeah, me, I, really, I feel like... Mm -hmm. I feel like Bill Collector needs him more and he's battling for his homeboy that just died this week. You know what I'm saying? That could be, like, uh, that, that, that's a that's lot of nothing motivation. Nothing but motivation. Right and that's not even his homeboy. Mm -hmm. That's LB the boss. Rest in peace to LB the boss. Thanks, you know what I'm so saying? Like, peace, last time I spoke to LB, he was with Bill Collector. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I know Bill Collector was really thinking about not even doing this tournament. And guess yeah. who told him to still do it? Enough motivation right there. Um, the reason why I'm saying that Bill Collector needs it more because right now Mike P is at that sweet spot where even if he loses, he gonna steal young. He's still gonna get booked. He's still cooking right now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people could be gunning for Mike P right after this. Yeah, Not and, and, yeah. and mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people, the angle that came out, motherfuckers is gonna use that. When I was talking to Danny earlier about it, he said, "Do do niggas have niggas let go of the 12k angle with me?" Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, when you, when he was like, the, is, the battle is a rap, uh, any advantage that you can get over a person is what they're going to use. Yeah. So that angle ain't going nowhere. No. But uh, we'll see how what happens with it. Right. Um, next, you got Nun Nun versus Mr. Wavy. Mm. Um, Mr. Wavy had a really dope performance. Like, it was really performance based. He had a lot of energy. He went through different pockets of material. His material wasn't crazy over the head. It's not layered. It's not like how there's different MCs in this tournament 
who who deliver material that have you like, yo, what the fuck? Right. Like an Emerson Kennedy. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like that would be a dangerous battle for Wavy because Emerson Kennedy is able to deliver so much layered material where he can wrap circles around people and he literally does it like walking around yeah the he does that that's you know thing. what i'm saying that's like, his thing don't dummy smack just left the building nigga counting my money like he do that shit and he's wrapping circles around a person lyrically mm -hmm. and he does it to the point where he's so nice where he's getting people to choke but uh let's go to uh, <laughs> wavy right wavy had a dope had a good performance versus steams but steams was not really at this level for this tournament mm -hmm. um he's battling none none Nunnun is one of the better rappers, line for line, that's in this tournament. Now, Nunnun's material is not layered, mm. but he's he's kind of, he's really up top punch heavy. Like mm. he uses a lot of punches. Yeah. Like I dropped low so first, like DJ Clue. That's a hell of a haymaker right there. You know what I'm saying? Fire. Like that's fire. Fire. And to me, in this particular battle, ah, uh, he's he's the underdog. They got Wavy winning on the polls, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna go with Nun Nun because Nun Nun's rapping and rapping ability where he's gonna rapidly go at you for three rounds straight may get past what Wavy's able to do. If Wavy wins, I wouldn't be surprised, but going into it, Nun Nun's one of the cats who impressed me the most from the first week, and I'm gonna go with Nun Nun with that momentum. I feel like this could go either way. Mm -hmm. um, okay. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, of course, I'm gonna have to, I'm going with you, you know what I'm saying? I gotta take Nun Nun 2-1. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I feel as though Wavy's performance could last this this type of tournament. Not yeah, to mention, I got I got none none. Not to mention what? Not to mention, but Wavy is also at that spot too, where I think he's gonna get booked too. Mm -hmm. So because of what he's already done and that work that he's put in, yeah, it, it could go either way. But none none needs it. Yeah, none yeah. none needs it. You, how would you feel if none none won this whole thing? I wouldn't nobody, feel no way about it. Nobody thought none of them would have won this whole thing. You see and that's what I'm more motivation than that's anything. Way more motivation. So. I wouldn't feel no way for, I wouldn't feel no way about it. The best yeah. man win. Shit, motherfuckers ain't think Fonz is gonna win the last one. Exactly. Hello. Exactly. Hello. Exactly. So Hello. That's, that's okay. the way we gotta start thinking. Right. We gotta start thinking um, who do we think could last. Um I think the way after Fonz's second battle in the in the last tournament. You could kind of pre you could kind of gauge who you felt like was gonna win. After the second week, I was like, I know shit. Mm -hmm. Because so the second you were week, saying that. You the second win. week definitely separates who's gonna win. Mm -hmm. Who who could you? Who I could definitively win. pick who's gonna win this whole mm -hmm. shit after the second week. Yeah. But um. Who's gonna let us know? Right. So next battle, uh, Danny Myers versus Tink the Demon. Mm -hmm. Uh, I got Danny Myers winning this battle yeah. 3-0. And yeah, the reason why I got him winning 3-0 is because... 3-0? I got him 3-0, man. Oof. I got Danny, Danny Myers is not losing a round in this tournament, dog. Like, he... I don't... I don't feel like... There's only... Okay. Emerson Kennedy could be heavy competition for him. Very much. Uh, a like, rematch with Mike P is going to go a different way. Even though I had Danny Myers winning the first battle. Ooh. But to have a parallel universe... You know what? I don't even want to do that because what they be saying, niggas be saying that I be that I be giving away shit that MCs can use. So I'm not gonna do that. But just know if they see each other again, <laughs> it's gonna be what it's gonna be. But anyway, I mean, uh, versus Tink the Demon, uh, Danny, my, Tink the Demon was winded, and I don't know if you catch if you can get that kind of breath control in a week or two. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He was very winded. Let alone, uh, let alone have more material and more material. Danny Myers is That's gonna be is Ooh. gonna be on his brake lights, man. Danny Myers is on a mission, uh, and I don't Ooh. see his mission stopping in the second week. I do not see it stopping. Uh, Tink the Demon is gonna need way more than he had versus Franchise because I felt like Franchise won that battle. I'm not gonna lie. Me too. I felt like Franchise won. Like franchise won. So yeah. I don't know why the judges called it, but I felt like Franchise won. So it's like it's clearly uh, Franchise was way more seasoned. He was way, way more, more season. I don't know what they saw. That's why I need to see it again when it comes out. Yeah, I'm that's, like, that's another one. It's just like maybe I wasn't paying attention. You yeah, know, I was, man, what, I was, was I not paying attention? Mm -hmm. Like, what was I? Was I? What was I not? What was I not doing? I was paying attention, but I wasn't paying attention because I was at work. But you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe they be watching their whole battle events right. at work. But anyway, uh, so and last but not least, you got Holmesy the God versus Emerson Kennedy. Now. Mm -hmm. Holmesy, salute to you and everything that you got going on, loud boys, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you have come a far way in the, just a week's time. Uh, not, not too many people picked you to win against the Saga. You came out, you was on a mission, you had a lot of energy, you broke them down, 
you was able to rap direct bars to him, the punches landed, and you was all in your groove. Mm -hmm. I liked it. The thing is, now you have Emerson Kennedy. Emerson Kennedy is one of the quarantine, if not the quarantine MVP from his battle versus QP. Mm -hmm. He battled New Jersey Twerk. Mm -hmm. He battled, his, his battle with Danny Myers came out on the mm -hmm. roof. Mm -hmm. Like he's, Emerson Kennedy didn't just start rapping in quarantine now. He's got about four or five of these things. And in every single one of them, he has performed. He has brought it. He has not shown me any chinks in his armor and he just 3 0 Blue Easy. Now I know Blue Easy was stumbling, fumbling, you know, near with a beer all over the place, but it doesn't matter. You can only battle who's in front of you. Uh, Holmesy the God has a, has good stage presence. He's able to captivate that room, and he's got a lot of energy. If he can win the first round, Holmesy can make this battle very interesting. But if I'm going off lyrical ability and what happened versus their last opponent, um, Holmesy had one of the be one of the better wins of the night. But Emerson Kennedy had the body of the night. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So, that was clear. That was a clear body. So I got Emerson Kennedy winning that battle 2 1. Oh, yeah, 100%. I'm with you as well. I'm an Emerson Kennedy fan. I've been a fan since back in the day. So uh, <clears throat> the thing about Emerson is, 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 is this is where you'll see his preparation. Because this is within two weeks' time. And not to mention, I'm pretty sure Holmes the Guy wasn't like number one on his list. Of like people are right, let me at least have a little bit of something to the side right. for you know what I'm saying like I'm pretty sure he had a, a, a choice of Saga or Loso you know what I'm saying as far as preparation now got to revamp everything got to reship the shape and everything there is a couple angles and I ain't trying to be like you two where I'm throwing in little right. angles you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying but there is certain things that I know Emerson does and he does study tapes mm -hmm. he does pay attention to certain mannerisms right Holmesy the God has a very obvious, uh, uh, um, um, it's uh, it's not a disease, but it's, you know what I'm saying, like, he has a mental issue, and I think that Emerson Kennedy can just beat that up in, in at least the first and the third round, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, he, and he, you seen him do it versus uh, Louise, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, he took the race angle, but he mm -hmm. used that shit in a fire you way. You seen what he done with Oops. You know what I'm saying? See what he done with QP. Like, you Emerson see Kennedy's a really hard person to beat, uh, and I got him winning that one. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, we just, yeah. So, you know. 2-1 two, or 3-0? 2-1. 2-1. Two, two, so, salute to every single one um, that's watching this content. I hope that you're blessed in your personal lives and everything going on with you. Um, salute to the, um, you know, competition and, and, and their brackets, and I hope that, you know, Everybody does what they do. This is all entertainment for battle rap at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? We just putting out content about how we feel. You yeah. know, I don't want no MCs to get mad. Like, oh man, F him because he said I was going to lose. You know what I'm saying? It's just... It's motivation. It's motivation. That's motivation. Yeah. So, other than that, you already know what to do and what it does. So, you got to ask for the buzz. Gang. Everybody, this is your boy Nate Drink from the Nate Drink One Sports Podcast channel. And I wanted to stop by and ask you for your support and your help on my channel and also on my show channel at A Drink of Wisdom. I drop new episodes every Saturday and you can catch me on all the social media platforms under Nate Drink One. And with that said, here go a quick snippet of one of my most recent shows. Thanks for your support and remember, let's talk some sports, baby. And, and I'm out. NFL has banned jersey exchanges between players for the 2020 season. What do you think of that policy, Drink? So let me get this right. So these players could spend two to three hours trading blood, saliva, sweat, but the straw that breaks the camel back is if they swap jerseys at the end of the game. Give me a break. This is stupid. Just stupid. What are we talking about here? Hey, come on, cut me, get the, get the hell out of here.